Hello everybody, this is Elon Paul, and uh, we're doing the Light No Sky Challenge today. Um, obviously not live, as you're seeing this as a recorded video. Um, I have no idea as I'm starting this recording what I'm getting myself into. I'm hearing reports on the planet of all kinds of different things, uh, watching some of the other videos from the other players. And there's been a lot happening here. I'm afraid I keep coming in too late in order to do anything in this game, but I'm going to give it a, my, you know, best challenge here. My intention was to be, you know, right involved in the middle of all this, but it seems like, let, let me go ahead and get this started. It seems like um, there's been a lot happening that unless I'm playing pretty much every single day, I'm going to fall way behind. Now, what my intention is today is I'm not doing anything with my base. I'm going to go immediately into survival mode and start going on a walkabout. Um, I have a mount. I don't know where to get the uh, flying mounts from unless there's somebody online. I'll be checking my settings and see if I can communicate with them. I know that Miyogi is a ambassador, but he is an ambassador for, like a moderator, if you will, for um, Brew Crew. So there's no way he's going to be giving me anything. Um, but I'm pretty sure that Cynical's got some ideas up his sleeve. Um, so I'll be checking out some of the stuff nearby the base first in normal mode. With PvP off. Uh, I'll be checking out the bases of the other players to see what they've got in inventory that I'm permitted to use. Um, I don't know if I can get into their inventories or not, but we'll see. I'll probably have to be actually in touch with another player. So, now right now, I am not in multiplayer mode. That's funny, I'm actually standing in a doorway. Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of real fast before I go back into it. Uh, let's see. I should have more than enough oxygen. There we go. Alright, so, that's all set. If anyone hasn't seen my live broadcast, I might be muting on this, by the way, on occasion, because I'm doing this early morning, but as family wakes up, there'll be noise in the background, so I'll probably just be hitting my mute on the microphone on occasion, and I won't be talking too, too much. So, let's see how we do. Also, sipping a little coffee here. As you can see, like I said, I am literally, I have nothing. I mean, I've got my main set up here. I've got some of these upgrades that I can uh, sell and get nanites for. I've got a good amount of nanites to start with. A little bit of cobalt so I can make some batteries and things like that. I'll need more ferrite. So let me go ahead and get this going here. Now first thing I need to do is go into my options here. Let me start with the network settings. So multiplayer I'm going to be turning back on. Let's see translate. Speech to text. I'm disabling. EVP is off at the moment because I'm in normal mode. I have never done any text chatting to anybody here, so I'll have to look into that. I've never done it before. Yeah, I only just enabled it, so it's got to save it too. Uh, let me just check some things here. Accessibility is it maybe? Controls. Oh, it's right there for Pete's sake. I'm looking right at it. Uh, button preferences. It should be. Yeah, that's it. All right. So. Uh, interact. Oh, okay. Oh, too too fast. Too fast. All right. Tech check. Okay, it was just with the enter button. Very good. Type it in, send it. Very good. Control V, okay, good. No, I don't want to do auto walk. Survey point. Survey mode. Survey. Very nothing special there. Okay, everything seems to be pretty straightforward. Okay. Alright. Let's go. So first thing I want to do, make sure that my settings are in normal. They are. Okay, good. Like I said, I'm just checking out the other players' bases, so while I'm on 
uh, I'm in the area of my uh, the other players that are in my crew here, you know, Cynical's base area and everything like that. I will be not, I will not be in PvP. And it doesn't appear I've got multiplayer on, but I swear I don't think there's anybody here today. Fascinating. Let me just check one more time, because network by players? Nobody. Wow, I might get lucky. This is going to be a good day to do all this. Alright, let me get out of here. i got to set up a site-to-site -site transport these days. Yeah? What is that? Yeah, yeah that is not surprising at all. There we go. Alright, so we're going to check out the other bases real fast over here to see if... I don't think I have access to anything they have, but we'll see. I'm not doing a construction. Let me get rid of that because that's going to end up driving. Uh, let's see, see here. Creative mode. There we go. Just leave it there. That way it will stop giving me information about how I can do more. So there should be a couple of bases very close by to me. I know that Cynical is out that way. I always use the extra oxygen, right? And I should, um, let me see, this is my exosuit. I should be able to install certain things. So I've got certain technologies I'm allowed. Let's see. Really? I mean, I need phosphorus and everything. That's pretty cool. I am going to get this installed. I'm going to need chromatic metal and sodium nitrate. So, but let me at least put it in here because I need to collect some stuff. Uh, let me see what else we got. Water jets would be kind of nice. We're going to be spending a lot of time near water. Okay. That could be worth my time. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Put it in with that, and I'll add the chromatic metal later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, as we venture out, since nobody's around, going survival and walkabout really, really good right about now. Now, there is a... Another thing that's been happening that there was an announcement on that certain other players who are not part of the challenge have been appearing and using their ships and uh, taking out. There we go. Taking out players from above that are part of the experiment here, the challenge. So that's a big no no. So if you're playing, and you decide you want to visit this area, that's very kind of you. Stop by, say hi. Please do not take out players. I know you think it's funny, but it's... Uh, kind of rude, I guess. I mean, it's along those lines of, you know, you should know better. I do have multiplayer on. I did do that, right? Yeah, okay, just making sure. This just seems kind of odd. It's early morning U.S. when I'm playing. Not terribly early. Right out loud. 30 in the morning is not really it. No. Very heavy time, but whatever. See condensed carbon in front of me. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And regular carbon, of course. I always use all this. All right, dust I need, as you know. I can't get the big guy because I don't have the advanced lasers yet. At least I don't think I do. You know, when you turn on creative mode and then go to normal mode, I think you get everything. Not everything, but you get a lot of stuff. Let's see. Well, I'll be. You do. A carbon nanotubes, a hermetic seal, and a wiring one. Two of those. I know how to get those. 
man, advanced mining laser would be very, very handy right about now. So how many? One, one, and two. Which I think we have the resources to make all this. Hold on. There's one. We have the recipes, obviously. One. And wiring loops. But I can't install that. I get one wiring. Okay. So we'll have to wait until we can get the second one. Let's go ahead and install those so they're out of my inventory, though. And I will keep checking in here to see if anyone else is out there. Does not appear to be. Fascinating. Okay, okay. And I think I've already checked this thing. Because uh, I know I've come through this area, but I'll check it anyway. I wish the smoke would stay away. The firing, fire and everything like that. But, you know, whatever. Alright, let's see how many, how far we are from everybody. I think I'm going outside the range. Hold on. Yeah, 412 units. Alright, let's head that way. Really need a jetpack upgrade. That's my biggest thing right now. Do I have a supercharged slot in here someplace? That's supercharged. And that's supercharged. Let's pull you out and put you in. Let's see if that helps just a little bit. Not at all. <laughs> I may put the hazard protection back in there. Yep, we already took that one too. But I'm going to take this so I know. I didn't even have to go to first person view to do that. Hello. Get away from that. Yeah, again, no other players seem to be active here. So this might be a really, really good time to just go... Survival and... PvP. So do I have access to anything here? He's got a landing pad, which I'm kind of surprised about, to be honest with you. I don't know why that would be. Finer, anything? Nope, can't do it. So I cannot access anything. I can use a save point, okay. Don't see any... anything else here. It's a gorilla dungeon, let's go ahead and check it out. Been there before. Coffee in a spot I can't get to it with my microphone. Hello, what have we there? Sack venom. Hmm. Don't have the ability to pick it up yet, so I'm going to stay steer clear of it. Good way to die. Okay, interesting. Fascinating. I think he had to do that. There's been some weird stuff happening. In the glitchiness of No Man's Sky. That's caused him to have to put down his base twice. We can take care of that pretty easily. Go. So let me go up a little higher here. Now, one of the things that we're combating the folks that are attacking is to just simply go at a multiplayer. Ah, see? And I can do this to get out of the way a little bit. Even get out of here. Oh no. Alright. Or 
in his base, but unfortunately I don't see any place to put stuff. Okay. I do know one, uh, one base that I can get to. Uh, I just got to find it here. Uh, let's see. I think it's Todd's. Yes. Todd's base. That's where I want to go. Of course, there's a storm. Good thing I have some batteries on. Hopefully we won't be attacked by these players who just entered the system, per se. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so he is straight in front of me, 500 meters away. It's away. That's the good news about this, I really can move fast. Jetpack works better in a storm. Like I said, I think I've taken all these, but checking them anyway. Um, okay. Can't see a blessed thing. I think stabilizing because I'm kind of out of the weather, so I'm going to run around this thing until we can find the entrance. Ah, I remember these. Look, a hole. Um, am I not inside? Very odd. Oh, it's a galactic... Whoa. Okay, can he have that? I don't think he's supposed to have that. Okay, I thought that was just another... Uh... Interesting. Okay, so storage containers... Here to... And he has his own portal, too. Isn't that interesting? They are not accessible by us, except as our own storage containers, if that's what we choose. Let me just see. Yep. Alright, so Todd, we need to have a little chat. pick a direction and I'm going to start going. Let me check to see who's in the system first. Okay. So we got Gifrock Games is still here. Should have went PvP before he uh, popped into the system. I was kicking it around. You heard me talking about, you know, this might be really, really easy if no one else is around. That's what I was waiting on. I like the fact that my jetpack's more efficient in a storm, but... Alright. So, I'm on my own, it seems. Now, these guys... Let me see. This one is not far away. CK rates. Uh, let me see how far away these bases are. That's an hour away. And 12 hours away. We're not going to play long today. An hour tops. So... Yeah. We'll head in this general direction... But they're so far away, it's not going to really hurt. So even if they were to pop up. Let me see where they are in relation to me. Are they nearby? They're obviously in the system, but I don't see them anymore. Look 
for the white dot. Yep, that's my base. Let's see. Be even better if he just left the system. I do need copper. I gotta look into that. Grab the oxygen while we're here. A piece of oxygen or two. Very nice. That's just money, folks. Just money. So I'll be heading in this direction, like I said. So we got to make the announcement. <clears throat> and we'll turn PvP on, but we are going to be a little bit wary of this extra player. I don't know whether he's playing as part of the whole thing here, if he's just an observer. Because I don't see him. That is yep that's the space station and if he was there I'd see him okay hello back away yep I just killed a hazardous plant my friend so where are you Still within the bounds of the base here, so we're gonna see what we're going got going on here. Doing this for 20 minutes and I haven't got it. Just was trying to prevent myself from doing that. My next thing is I'm gonna get some copper. Except I'm not seeing any resources nearby, so I may have to head in a general direction anyway. There's salt, that doesn't help. Hopper, right there, towards my base. Alright, so we'll be picking that out. So since we're still within our base bounds, we can do this without attracting attention. Okay, let's do it. Oh, Pete's sake, I didn't even see him there. That was weird. Careful, I'm gonna get down. I mean, I'm, no, I'm in normal mode at the moment, but. I'm not so nervous about being attacked as I am of the unknown right now, I think. So we'll see what happens here. Stay away from now. are waking up, so you're going to get some silence every now and then, but that's okay. Um, this is not a very good copper deposit, as you can see. It needs more. It's got a lot of silicate in it. I'm just going to go to medium mode, duck up whatever's left, and get a little more silicate powder out of it so I can get my terrain manipulator uh, a little more juiced up here. 
Any second, there we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more silicate big time, and I'll fill in this area. I need a few hundred of it in order to get this thing charged up, but I'm going to need that. And the silicate density here is terrible. Look at this. 20, 30... Fill it in. I'm probably going to go someplace else and do this, but we definitely need to get some more copper at some point. Alright. The hole will remain because of the fact that... Um... Because of the, what do you call it, the, the resource that was there, so it's not going to fill it in with a resource again. But you can create with this. Put, you know, resource back in. Not resource, but you can put silicate back in its place and just kind of get rid of the hole that's in the terrain. Just flatten it out a little bit. Not pretty. It did the job, though. All right. Back to mining bean mode. Alright, so let's take a look around once again. And we definitely need some resources. So we're going to go in a direction where I can get resources. That's not salt. There's my base. So this direction again, I hate to do it, but... And there's one at 802. Alright, let's head that way. Again, we're still within the bounds of our base area, I suppose. So... Don't have to go... Oh, he left the system. Let's check. Network. Nobody here. Okay, good. So we're going to go... There we go. PvP. And then... Difficulty, we're going to go to survival. There we go. Bye. And we're going to go back to... Network and make sure nobody's around. Now, I would do the... Emoji, but there's no reason to. Nobody here. So I'll just take advantage of the fact that there's nobody here and keep going. Dense carbon is very handy. As much of this as I can. Strange. I could have swore I recharged my life support. I wonder if it took like a smaller amount from somewhere else. Or if I really am burning through life support that quickly. It's very, very odd. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, Gifrock has jumped back into the system. So, I'll just keep my eyes open. Especially watch for ships flying over. Casey's one of those kind of. Now, he may be questing and just running in and out of the system. He might be doing the storyline or something like that. Hopefully, this is a better deposit over here. Looks like it might be. Now, before we get started... To what we can gather. Alright, that looks much better. Need a few hundred of silicate so I can actually charge my frame manipulator. I hate using ferrite dust to do it because ferrite dust has so many more uses that I need. Yeah, look at that. Fully charged. Alright. Gather a little bit more.
There, that looks pretty good. Yeah, too close to the ocean to get to a good amount. Alright. This looks like a very good deposit of copper. So, we obviously need chromatic metal. We're going to be going ahead and turning this into that here in just a couple moments. That's a regular player. Uh, NPC, pardon me. Not get rocked. Now, the good thing is, a lot of the players, well, for me anyway, but a lot of the players that are playing this are usually in the UK. So I'm kind of surprised that they're not on right now. Considering the fact that it should be about 3 o'clock in the afternoon in their time. Unless these people are working secular jobs elsewhere. On a Saturday. And they could. They could be. Who knows? Ah, this is a very, very good deposit. We're going to get a lot of copper out of this one. Pretty deep. Yeah, we're already up to 300. I'd like to get about 600 out of it if I can. That would be really, really nice, because that should give me enough chromatic metal to keep me going for a while. A lot of people talk about pulling in their ship. Mm, Captain Steve is here. Yep, see, I spoke too soon. He may come out and try to attack me. We'll see what happens. I don't have any weapons, so... Maybe I ought to install the bolt caster on here, because I do have the technology available to me. And how is he entering the system? Hopefully not by ship, because that would be against game rules, wouldn't it now? I'm not going to say there hasn't been any cheating going on, but I like to stick to the rules when I can here. I know I haven't cheated yet. If he's recording himself, well, that ought to be it. Captain doesn't usually go, go live too often, so... I'm guessing he is probably going to record what's going on. Ah, this is very nice. This is very, very nice. Alright, how much do I have on? Let me see. 877? 878. Very nice. Now, we can do a... Refiner. Do we have one on me? I don't think we do. We do not. Okay. Let's make a metal plate. Let's put down a refiner. No edit permission. Oh, whose base in my area? Alright, so let's go ahead and ha head out a little bit further. Um, where did we intend to go? My base is where? Base is over here, correct? We intended to go that way. Let me get this flower. I saw it earlier. Let's get a surge away from this area. and Hopefully we'll get to an area that there is no base. Drop this computer down. Okay. Not computer. Refiner. Still no edit permission? Okay. Alright. Let's take a look around. Looks like Steve, Captain Steve is right there. It's a little further away, though. Hello, Captain. Not my Captain. Okay, that is whose base? That's Aya. Okay. Now, considering Aya is very close to Crayola Kingdom, I would have to assume she is an ally. Let's see another blue flower over here, did I? Blue flowers are going to be my my assistance, if you will, to get where I need to go here. Because the jetpack just does not make it. 
All right, so one thing we want to check is to see where he's at. As long as he stays about 12 hours away, we're safe. 13, we're good. All right. Can I drop this down yet? Nope, probably can't. Oh, I can. All right, let's do some refining. Uh, let's see, we got plenty of carbon. Let's go ahead and use it. Actually, I should probably fill that up. This is going to take a while. All right. While we're doing that, let's take a look around. Buried cash. Got some buried technology over there. Damage machinery. Let's take a look at it. I don't know if I've hit this one yet. I have not. Somebody has. Okay. Nanites. I uh, can't seem to get that one. I don't really care about it. That's okay. I've gotten so much of that stuff. I'm very close to Creola Dungeon. Garifinium over that way. I don't need that yet. Or buried tech. Let's check it out. Oh. Bust my ankles. Hopefully I didn't damage anything. And there it is. Alright. What does it need? I need ferrite dust. I don't need much. Fortunately. I thought I gathered a lot more. I'm still in first person. Hold on a second. Why can't I get out of first person? Hey, there we go. Yeah, we'll check this while we're here. Just nanites. Okay. Uh, I need a rock. Watch this. See? Nothing. <laughs> There we go. I only need three ferrite dust to get this fixed. Okay. There we go. Fixed. Back to normal. Okay, where is my... There it is. So, there was one... There. As far as the uh, damage machinery, so I took care of that one. We're in between bases here, so that's that's interesting. All right, is Captain of the Steve still over there? There he is, I think. Thirteen hours. I'm thinking he's in the air. What do you think? I will have to keep an eye open to see how soon he gets over here. Their steeds that they have are very very powerful. All right, so first things first. Now we can do this on board. Um, what about you? Are you here now? Okay. Let's upgrade you. Uh, I'm going to put more. And I need some sodium. Do we have sodium on us? We do, but not enough. Okay, we need sodium. Let's take a look around. Uh, wait a minute. Easier to do it that way, right? All right, we got some sodium ow here. I knew that was going to happen. I got to watch out for those guys in survival because they can damage you. Okay, we have passed some, I think. There we go. Scanner charged? Yes. Okay. Okay, more over there. We need a lot more sodium. That's going to end up killing me one of these days. These guys... Oh my gosh, really? Anything get damaged? There's another one near me? Besides him? All right, I need to head back to my little portable thing. How much soda do we get? Not quite enough. How much do we need? 20? We need 40, so that's okay. Well, let's start doing it while we're here. No, not there. Stop that. Need 40. Uh, let's see. Sodium, sodium, sodium. There you are. There. 
course it is. Uh, we're going to recharge that with you. We're going to recharge you with that. Okay, we're good. I'd use the flower, but I'd rather save it for a rainy day. All right, Captain of the Steves, where are you, sir? You're still over there. 13 hours. Okay, so he still hasn't... He's not getting closer. Okay. Okay. And let's get ours out here, and this should get us our... There we go, hazmat bomb. Okay, we have that installed. Excellent. And I tell you what, we should have the ability to do this. I've been gathering resources with you. Um, I do, I already have the two installed except for the wiring loom. The wiring loom, I need one more. So if we get one more upgrade that I don't need, well, that would be good, right? So let's put a bolt caster in here. I think I have access to that. I do. I would rather do, honestly, I'd love to do a neutron cannon or something along those lines or a pulse spitter. But honestly, the bolt caster in this particular mode would be the best. So I think we're going to do that. We need three carbon nanotubes for this. We got a weather storm coming. Two, three. It's a multi tool. Let's get that in here. So we're going to have a weapon now. Back over here, we need ammunition, and we need a lot more ferrite dust. Okay. How are you doing? You're almost done? Because I really need to get move on here. It's literally almost done. We're almost there. I'm going to start announcing my... My stuff's going to start dropping here anytime now, my uh, protection. There we go. Done. And we actually don't need that anymore. So I'm going to... Where did it go? There it is. I'm going to uninstall that. Alright, we're all set. Pick a direction. That way I was going, I believe. And we're going to watch our thermal protection, of course. Water may protect me here, so I may be jumping in some water over. Yeah, it's dropping fast. Let's see. Hold on. Yep. So the water office protection. All right. And while we're here, we can take a look around. Sometimes the water gets superheated too, so you have to be careful of that. Nope, Captain, you're still staying put, so I'm assuming you're just doing stuff over there. Let's see. I'm in boat caster mode. Let's go back to mining beam because I see some... Condensed carbon, I think. Yes, it is. Now, let's take a look around before he decides to try to attack me. And we want to find either buried tech or damaged machinery. Now, we went south last time, I believe. So, I'm going to head... Yeah, we're going to head east. We're going to head in the direction of Captain Steve. But there's no way I'm getting there, especially today. So it's just going to give me the opportunity to check out landscapes I haven't been to yet. Uh, let's see. He's an hour away. I don't really want to get anywhere near somebody else's place who isn't part of this. So, Okay, good. A portal's 12 hours away. Except by bird. <laughs> oh. Yep, unless I want to travel underground, I'm going to have to stay in the water until this is done. Or just eat through batteries. The storm shouldn't last long, so maybe we should get going. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And if we start eating through battery, batteries, we'll just go ahead and, you know, get moving. Use the storm to my advantage with my jetpack. And it's falling fast in survival mode. How far have I gotten now? 
20,000, huh? Didn't feel like that far. See? Told you the storm would clear soon. And you see the storm damage is actually lightning. There we go. Alright, good deal. Ah. Broken machine. It's head over there. I don't know if I've hit this one yet. Flower there, too. Alright. Taken this one? I appear to have taken this one. So where's Steve at? Steve's that way. That's the direction we're headed. We're not heading to Steve. We get there in time unless he decides to take a flying mount and take me out. So. Let's see. I am looking for stuff. An unknown building. That'll help. Hmm. Red trails do not mean good things. As I said, I haven't engaged any pirates. I mean, you see that down there, right? That I somehow have engaged pirates? I don't know how that could possibly be. <clears throat> On foot with a mining laser. As long as they don't try to attack me. Let's see what this unknown building is. Maybe it's an indoor building and I can get inside. Excuse you. Excuse you. Ooh. Nope, just some damaged machinery. I think I might have been here earlier. Right. Pretty sure I've been here. So anybody who watches this video later will see I did not engage any pirates. <laughs> not even sure what that's about. Okay. Good. Needed some. You know what I do need is I need... Uh, oh, well, that'll work. I do need some ferrite dust. I should be taking out rocks. As long as there's no sentinels around to get upset at me for taking out rocks. Because I need the ferrite, big time. Carbon's always helpful, but, you know, it's the rocks we really need. Nope, can't get that. Yep, see? He's looking. So, is this the direction? Yes, this is my direction. Got a small lake in front of me. Got some more damaged machinery in front of me, so we'll be checking those out. Grab some more words while we go. Oh, hello. Missed that. Yeah, I'll take the rest of metal. Very kind. It's giving me uh, batteries. Let's take the rusted metal. Get that moving along. Okay. I can get some more. Good, 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 good. That's very handy. I do now have ammunition, so I'm a little bit more protected. There we go. Eat sake. Before it damages it. Sentinels just love to get in the way of everything. I can't even pick out any rocks in order to keep myself going. up all this stuff because we can. There was a piece of damaged machinery I thought right over here. Was I mistaken? It's up there. Okay, I missed it. I could swore there was one right over here. Guess not. Okay. We need ferrite dust, like I said. We need a lot of it. There's only a little bit there. How much did we get out of this so far? Alright, we're doing good. That's very, very good. Okay. 
And again, I just need one more upgrade. Something I don't need would be very, very handy. Pick the nanites, that's fine. Gek Relic is not very handy to me right now. Keep going. Got some Hadal cores. Again, those are worth some money. I think that's sodium down. Not... Yep. Let's take some sodium. Nope, that's just oxygen, but we could use it anyway. As long as there's no snappers around. Yep, investigate. He needed to go, and you know it. Alright, let's see. Condensed carbon up there. Really need that upgrade so I can get my advanced mining laser going here. Help out so much. This is mostly resource gathering or damage machinery. And let's see. Nothing. Looks like there's some buried tech over there, so we'll head in that direction in the hopes that we find something. Got a plant in front of me. Okay, go this way. Oh, for Pete's sake. No matter where I go, there's another plant. Ah, that's going to damage something. Besides my ankles. Okay, let's just head in that direction. I thought there was something about it. It's not. I expect my shield will start recharging any moment now, please. There it goes. There. Alright. Back to normal. Over there. I don't see any smoke, so this is just going to be buried tech. Got a ton of buried tech now, so. Now my intention, and I'm going to say this in the video, is to stay in PvP survival. I'm going to get where I'm going, and as soon as I can get to an autosave point, I will go ahead and shut down. Not as soon. I'm going to just keep going for a little while yet. For now, keep this video going, but when I decide to shut down, I'm going to be just keeping it going. There's a hazardous plant right there. I need the sodium, so I'm going to keep gathering. All right. We need stuff. Is that buried? It's jettisoned. Let me check it out. Yeah, it's right in front of me. The other side of this plant. Oh. Weird. Is it inside here? Sure enough. Oh, there it is. Look. More rusted metal. Very handy. Hydrogen jelly, that'll give me a life support gel. Did I get two life support gels? Nope, just the one. Which is okay, we'll be using it here soon. Keep that ferrite dust going, because we've got a lot. 500, so we're in really good shape. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Lots of pearls. Right there. Let's head that direction. We don't need it, but at this point, we need resources and upgrades. Not seeing a lot of broken machinery, and I'm not about to get into a sentinel battle. Looks 
quad will take me out in a heartbeat. So, life support came in handy. Alright, what do we got? Looks like we got two pieces of broken machinery. Alright, let's take it. Who we got? Ah, an untainted one. Just more nanites, that's okay. Let's go to the next one. We had some really good luck with some over there, too. We had some really good luck last time we played. A lot. Upgrades that came to us, which was really, really nice. A couple upgrades, anyway. One of them was useful. One we just used in order to get a wiring loom out of it, and we need one. I'd love to get some heat protection. That'd be kind of nice. More nanites. Okay. Should be another piece of damaged machinery over here. This. Dense carbon. Hopefully we can get it without the sentinel attracting attention. Yeah, good. Excellent. Nope, more nanites. Okay, well, it is what it is. Just check something real quick. Am I heading in the wrong direction? Have I been doing that? Well, it's because I'm going after damaged machinery. That's probably why. Yeah, I'm going to head this way. There's a piece of damaged machinery up there, so good, thing, good way to go. So, I need a three, one of three things I would like to get. Three wishes. Heat protection. Something that I can't use, but I can install and get the wiring loom out of. Or in a jetpack upgrade would be kind of nice. One of those three things. Hmm. There's a lot of knowledge stones coming up. That's interesting. Okay. Got buried tech up there, but I don't see any smoke. So let's head in that general direction. And see if maybe it turns into damage machinery as well. There's a few over there. We got an unknown building. Okay, let's head over there. And damage machinery right there. Let's take it. Don't need the fecium. More nanites. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can always use them. This is done. Good. Got plenty of it now. Let's get a little more ammunition. I feel better at around three grand. A little bit of a higher vantage point so I could see if there's any damaged machinery near me. Yeah, I did that purposely. Leave me alone. All right. Grab the sodium while we're on our way. Hmm, exotic, huh? Craters would be kind of nice. Looks like we got some broken machinery, or is that oxygen? <laughs> it is broken machinery right there. Interesting. Get to it. Yeah, we can't barely, but we can get to it. Nope, just nanites. And it looks like that is a beacon, but we'll use it. Because you never know, it may find something for us, and we'll get an overview of the whole area.
Plus it'll have stuff for us. Navigation data is always a nice thing to get. Ah, sodium. Good. Alright, let's take a look. Don't see a whole heck of a lot. Alright. Minor settlement, yeah. How, how many years away is it? Six hours. Yeah, I ain't getting there anytime soon. But, that's our ley line. So we're going to head in a northerly direction, even though you're that way. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's head that direction. You know what? One thing we can really use, too, is a new multi-tool. So if we can find a minor settlement, that'll be great. Hello. What do we got here? More rusted metal. And battery. Excellent. You know we can use those. Flowers that we can use. Let's grab them. Hello. Ah, crud. Indeed, I did. Okay. So what do we got ahead of us? I don't see any damaged machinery in front of us. But heading north would be kind of nice. I think if we've got an ocean between us. So i got to be careful. Alright, let's just head up here to see if there is some broken machinery with it. I don't see anything yet. The words that we gather from the knowledge stones are going to be very handy because of the fact that we will learn a lot. It will help us out of the uh, monoliths if and when we come across any. How far away is he now? Still 13. Okay, so he's just hanging out in his base. That's fine. Looks like we got some damaged machinery maybe up here. Hmm. Again, unadulterated. More nanites. Alright, so we're not having a lot of luck with getting upgrades today. But sooner or later the nanites have to run out, so... you hear me, universe? Sooner or later, the upgrades have to run out. I mean, the nanites have to run out. Let's get up to the top of the hill and take a look around. So we're going to treat this kind of like a permadeath run. And a lot of this is going to be visual. Got a flower in front of me. That's great. Oh, got another unknown building. We'll check that out. It's probably just a campsite. Considering how far, how close we are to everything. Got a broken machinery right there. We'll head towards it. Inside the rock. And we get to it. Looks like we can. They're doing that a lot. It's weird how they glitch into there. Nanites. Yeah, good. Got some submersible ships, apparently. Looking for the smoke. I don't see any. Okay. Is that a drop pod? There is. It's like we're getting an upgrade. I think we can make everything to get the upgrade. Alright, let's head over here first. Uh, let's see. Nothing found. Cheap skate. I'm gonna get ourselves some more ferrite out of this, though. 
Ion battery. Excellent. Good, 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 good. And if you're wondering why I'm not using my creatures, because I can get further on my own. So that's what I'm doing here. So I need a carbon nanotube and... Gotta find it. There it is. Antimatter housing. Good thing I've been getting ferrite dust, huh? Sodium nitrate. We need sodium nitrate. Do we have any? I don't think we do. We don't. Okay, let's stop you for a moment. Oh, I hate when it does that. Uh, sodium, 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 sodium. Back the other way. I need ten. There it is. Ugh, stop it. Wow. That was annoying. Okay, got ten. So we should be able to upgrade our exosuit. So where do we want to put this? Technology is pretty open right now. So let's just keep putting it down here. I don't like this empty spots too. The two empty spots here. So I'm going to take that one first. That just annoys me. Little OCD. All right. Where to? There were some flowers over here. We're going to grab those. Okay. And Steve is that way. So we'll he keep continue heading in that direction. Let's grab the flowers. Head to the water, and we're going to just cross over. At high speed, I hope. Well, not perfect, but it's good. Don't... Ah, crud. There we go. Got a good run of jump at that one. That's good. Nice. Good crossing. Alright, take a look around. There is buried tech up there. Get up to a little bit of a higher vantage point. See if we can see. A smoke. We'll need more oxygen. We're going to have to keep an eye open on stuff like that. Okay. We'll head up this way. I know there's supposed to be something over there, but I don't think there's any damaged machinery to go with it. it seems to happen quite often on this particular planet. I needed. Thank you. Let me put that stuff back in my uh, chest there. We didn't use it? Interesting. Alright, so we're heading in that direction, but we don't see any more damaged machinery anywhere near. Which is really what I'm looking for, that, and maybe a minor trading post, or a trader dropping in on my butt. You're really devoid of damaged machinery. No smoke or anything. Two, that's good. That should keep me steady. Alright, we've got a bunch of stuff on the other side of this cropping here, so let's go around one side of it and take a look. Just 
going to grab that while we're here. We'll take a look up here. There's a blue flower over there. Oh, and send some stuff. Okay, good. Grab stuff. Stuff is good. Microprocessor is always handy. Need to take a look around. There's damaged machinery over here. I've perfected the art of flying backwards, yes. Because I want to take a look around while I'm up in the air like that. Is that still Captain? Yes, Captain. Alright. Let's see what we get. Probably more nanites, but it would be great to get an upgrade. Oh, oh. I almost ran right into a plant. No. Some buried crystal formations. Far afield, if you will. Hmm. Supposedly damaged machinery up there. Let's take a look. Settlement, right? Yes. And there it is. Good deal. Okay, okay. Oh, saw something on there. Okay. Jackpot ninja time. You gotta be careful of people like that, because you never know. Got yep, some more nanites. Don't see damaged machinery. Captain Steve just boosted into the air. I'm assuming he's flying and he's now 13, 12 hours away. So we're going to keep an eye on him and see if he's going to be attacking him soon. A little bit of sodium here. Careful, I've got a plant literally right in front of me. And I'm not afraid to take the captain out or fight him at this point. So if worse comes to worse, I've got a bolt caster. It's not very powerful. He's got his Atlas staff, so he's got an advantage on me. The biggest advantage that they have is that they can respawn. I cannot. I mean, I can, but I can't. Once I'm done, I'm done. Hello. No, not you. Not you. Thank you. Okay. I need damaged machinery. I want to keep an eye on Captain Steve. Still 12 hours away. Okay. Instead of 13, as you noticed. Wow. That sure does drop fast, does it? Ooh, a big sodium. Very nice. Let's go take advantage of that. This will keep us going for a while. This is a really big field. Find an oxygen field like this, I'd be set. We're going to be putting this into our refiner and making uh, um, sodium nitrate too, I think. But, now we don't really have to. We just keep it like this. All right. Cleared out the field, and I got some damaged machinery in front of me. Let's see what it has. All right. Good deal.
more nanites. Of course it does. But you can't just ride the sentinel, huh? Captain, are you at 11 yet? Nope. So he's probably just testing out things then. Let's get down to here. We got a stash of stuff here. Another Gek Relic. Yay. Alright, let's see what we got in our inventory. First things first. Okay. Doing very good on ferrite now, finally. So we are in survival mode, but it's not using up the things that we made. Is it because we started a creative mode? That's probably the reason. Okay. I'm going to have to mention that part of the rules. That going into creative mode at the very beginning, you should start in survival and go to creative when you get into this. But, you know, that we learn as we go. Ooh, a Viking dagger. More pirates. I keep saying I keep engaging pirates. It's only because they're being attacked in the air above me by other players, uh, other NPCs. Me and those pirates, I don't know. They just love me. It'd be great if they drop, drop some stuff down to the ground for me. You know, maybe an upgrade or two. No, nope, more nanites. Gonna keep taking a look around. Damage machinery. We'll take it. Uh, floating crystals. Too bad I can't get those yet. Almost. Almost made it to the top. I didn't... I honestly did not see anything there. How about an upgrade? You're giving me enough nanites today. No, we're going to give you even more nanites. Just because you spoke out. Okay, let's head on through. Now, the distance between me and Captain Steve may have been reduced by the fact that I'm heading towards him. Sorry. Take the flower instead. Okay. Boy, it really uses up oxygen with that, doesn't it? Alright, what do we got? Don't see any damaged machinery. Or any buildings, which is interesting because we should be on a path with buildings. I wonder if he chose a low resource area. Ooh. That could be the reason why these things are happening. Yay. More storms, yay. Eight words. Yay. 
One of them is the word, yay. Hey, how about an upgrade? Well, that's one of the ones I was wishing for. Okay, what kind of upgrade do we get out of it? Nice, I'll take it. That should help. Storm's going to be hurting me pretty bad. Wow, it had to use two. It dropped so quickly. So I'm going to have to watch that. And see... Is that a building? Yes, it is. Savior, unless it's one of those monoliths or something. Watching for broken machinery, because I could still use that. It gets down to about 30%. I've got to put it in immediately. Yeah, it's not going to help. Water was nearby, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a lake nearby. Let's head towards it. We may want to use a little bit of sodium this time. Make the water be in good shape. Get myself a good boost. There we go. Water, here we come. And we're back to normal. that. Jackpot Ninja. Okay. That is the miner's settlement. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. Because we're more interested now in finding some buildings, too. Storm's clearing. Hey, broken machinery. Back the way we came. And since the storm is clearing... He's landed on planet Light No Sky? Captain, are you using your ship? I hope not. I hope you were just using the portal. Eat sick. Alright, so there's the captain, I believe, right? And that is Swamplands. Okay. So he doesn't seem to be at the hub. That's very interesting. Upgrade, please. Let me ask politely, maybe. Nope. Alright. The hub, I believe, is elsewhere. Because I know it was 12 hours away from me. But then again, that might be it. That could be it. How far away is that? Doesn't seem to be... That's interesting. It doesn't tell me how far away that is. I am curious now. Because it appears that it's right there, but that might be on the other side of the planet for all I know. Life support's dropping again. How are we doing on... Oxygen is getting low. I say low, we have 400 of it, but still. I like to keep a good supply. We need to keep our eyes open for... Damage machinery. As well. So how far away is this? Unlabeled thing. It's right here. That's interesting. What is it? Abandoned structure? Are abandoned structures not labeled on this planet? A 
What is it? What is it? What is it? Isn't this someplace I've already been? Oh, did somebody just land near me? No? No traders. Crap. Really could use a trader right about now. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's very interesting. So the building didn't show up anything special. Very odd. I don't see anything else around me. Okay, let's head up to the top of the hill. Looks like my run juice lasts a little bit longer and it charges rather quickly, so that must be the A-class upgrade. It's helping out. A lot of stuff to the right. Let me get to the top of the hill here. Yeah, that's much better with the backpack. Alright, what do we got? Besides animals. There's a couple of buried techs over there. There's one down there. Let me get to the edge of the hill here so I can see down. Yeah, not seeing any broken machinery. Okay, we'll head this direction. Dense carbon is your friend, as you know. Speaking of which, we have a lot of inventory in here. You notice that? I'm going to make a life support gel. I'm going to get rid of, think, I think I'm going to get rid of the Gek Relics at some point. And I don't think I need these after all. So, Carbon Fire, yeah, that is useful. This is not. Mordite, we'll get rid of. This inventory is a mess, but I'm going to keep it the way it is for now. Alright. Let's head on. Oh. Didn't hurt myself, so that's good. We can look for caves in the events of those storms coming up again. So yeah, running seems to do better now. About half and half, that's good. You see how fast it charges. Yeah, much machinery to my left. Mostly it charges all the way before I land. I didn't think I landed that hard, but who knows. He's landed on planet Lone Light No Sky again. So what is he up to? Who's that? Jackpot Ninja. I don't know what he's up to. I don't know if it's just because he's riding so high on his mount, maybe? Two damage machineries. Maybe we can get an upgrade. Like heat or useless. Heat or useless. Something I can actually install in somewhere. Nope, just nanites. Okay. That's okay. Nanites are still useful. Cast this rock. looking for buildings too. We should probably put our scanner in the supercharged slot. I think. Let's get over there. So let's put you over here. Can't move you at all yet. There's the scanner. Scan radius. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we can see further, if you will. 
which it should help. I should have done that a while ago. Damage machinery right there. Not you. You. Okay. You guys want to land and trade? No? Okay, you know what we're asking for. Just now. It's not what I'm asking for. Really thought we would find something, but... Decent settlement. There's some more damaged machinery down there. Two of them. I'm going to go ahead and head towards them. Hopes that one of them gives me something useful besides nanites. That might have hurt me. Kind of. We'll see. Nope. Okay. Very handy. So yeah, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to be wrapping it up soon. Okay, nanites. Hmm, Captain Steve has left the system. Okay. So does that mean I'm alone again? Let me find out. So A.W. Dell is here, and Luaz is here. Okay. We still got two others here. Okay. Let's head this direction just a little bit. We got we got water in this direction, but I want to stay close to it because the hilly terrain is allowing me to see a little bit further. Find things that I didn't see before. is that. Oh, so, okay, not a good one, but it's the positive pop. Got plenty of that, so I'm not worried about it. Got ourselves a good amount of uh, chromatic metal. Should be good for a while. Keep forgetting you can zoom in until I'm actually trying to scan things. And I should be scanning stuff too, that reminds me. I think I've scanned everything here. I don't know. Nope. Looks like I've scanned just about every rock on this place. to the top of the hill as usual. Bird's eye view, always a good thing. So, since Captain Steve isn't here anymore, how long, how far away is Loaz? Let me see. 12 hours. Okay. So we're not going to get attacked. Hmm. Not soon. Alright, what do we got up here? That must be Sack Venom. Oh, you know what? We did get that installed, didn't we? Alright, let's do that carefully, shall we? I'm gonna get this first. Orbax casing, yay. I'm trying to decide if I'm keeping this. Oh, that works. And that, too. We shall see. Alright, let's head over to the Sack Venom. That's one of the things they wanted us to get. 
careful about this. Go for the damaged machinery first. Just that. It's okay. Where are you, Sackman? Down there. There it is. So, you approach carefully. Don't want to get too close. Oh, hello. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Sentinels don't like you touching the sack venom. Thirty seconds, really? Hmm. You don't want to harvest resources. I mean, picking up plants is one thing, but harvesting resources is quite a different matter. Restart the timer. And we are done. Okay, good. While we're walking along here, let's go for the damaged machinery. Any buildings that I've passed by that I didn't notice? I don't see any. But we got a little bit of sack venom, so that's good. Wow, okay. Everybody's popping in and out now. That's interesting. That's our minor, set minor settlement. We've kind of gotten off, gotten off course. Let's head this direction. Trying to do one thing, and you should be paying attention to the top of a rock. Let's take a look around. All right, Lance. Lance could come in hand. We're supposed to be heading that way. Hey, look. one. Just in case. Another Gek Relic. I think we're going to have to start getting rid of those things. Nah, nice. Okay. Wait a minute. There we go. Alright, how are we doing on that stuff? Anyway? These guys are starting to clock up a little bit high. How much are these worth anyway? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'll have to see where I'm supposed to deposit them because I can't seem to find the deposit area that I'm supposed to be going for. But anyway, that's not important. Supposed to be going towards this direction? This direction, that's right. Okay. Take a look. You know, uh, unmarked graves would be a really, really good thing to get too. They give you random upgrades as well. There is a good advantage to having that machine right in front of us. To having a planet dotted with uh, lakes. So. Oh, nice. More nights. 
Okay. There was another one over here. There it is. And looks like we got one down there. Good. Found a few. Oh, some more supplies. Let's grab Nothing. More rusted metal. You will occasionally get upgrades from them, but... But not all. Alright, let's see. Nanites, big surprise. Another damaged machinery to my right over there, too. Oh, that's weird. Huh? Yay, procedural generation. Okay, we're going to have ourselves a lot of ferrite dust. This is really, really good. Check them. Hmm. Not terribly valuable, but valuable. Alright, this is going to break it. So let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, good. So this is valuable stuff. So we will take that. Looks like we got a couple pieces of damaged machinery in that direction. So let's keep going. At least this one. We should grab some oxygen while we're over here. Launch fuel. That could come in handy if I want to pull it in, but I don't mean to keep it. Just in case. Okay, good. Got myself some good amount of oxygen out of that. Let's go over here, because I could have swore I saw something. There it is. Good. This seems to be, now, a very nice area to be in, for the most part. That much machinery-wise. Starship shield mount. Again, can't use it. Can't even install it and uninstall it. And that leaves me with one slot left. Alright, so... Dagger does come in handy. I'm going to go ahead and start getting rid of some of these things. Get rid of you. Hmm. This is what? Pure? Let's get rid of the pure. We don't need it. It's only 11. There. That gives me a few extra slots. Okay, we should be alright. Take a look around, make sure we're not missing any buildings. I think we're supposed to be heading in that direction, aren't we? I don't even know anymore. No, it's that direction. Right, 12 hours. That's 24 minutes away. 28 minutes away. Hmm. 28, and then 12 hours. That's where Steve was. Okay. Don't know if we're heading towards those folks or not. I mean, we kind of are, but I did, I'm not doing it purposely. Man, it'd be great if I could get a trader to land. some of this inventory anyway. Oof. Love seeing those flying so close to the ground. Actually shoot them from here? No. I don't have an advanced mining laser, so it doesn't do anything. But I gotta be careful, because the NPCs could start attacking. It's just trying to get up the hill here. So I can take a look around. Flowers to my right. Blue flowers. That'll be good. Okay.
How come you didn't show up? A little higher up, shall we? As expected, so I'm about to start having trouble. Ah, come on. That was actually a pretty smooth landing. At least I didn't break anything. I need a heat shield, please. It'd be great if you had one. More nanites, of course. Because that's what I was asking. Now, instead of the batteries, we'll probably use these guys. Because we got tons of it now. Okay, back to here. Damage machinery straight ahead. Let's head that way, because the water is that way, and if we have to, we can duck into the water for a little bit. Machinery. Still more nada. milestone this time. It's the minor settlement. I don't see any other buildings or anything I can use. Immediately cuts your jetpack efficiency down. Immediately. I always get a kick in. Okay, so we're back to normal. Alright, so we'll keep heading in this direction. I think what we're going to do is what if we find ourselves a building or even a campsite, I don't care what it is, um, we'll go ahead and we'll end the episode there. So not the most eventful episode, but I'm in PvP right now, so we will see how this goes. Get up to the top of the hill. Well, of this hill. Arfinium. Place is pretty when out on sunsets. Hey guys, trading, trading. No. <sighs> A little blue flower up there. We'll go for that.
lost the momentum. I don't know why. Eh, what's that? That's a plant that just tried to eat me. That's what that is. find a building if I could. That sack venom? Sure is. Grab some. Let's annoy the natives. Yeah, I can only get one. I love to take some of these guys out. We could do that, you know. Can dig holes. Okay. Is that? It's a dog. Okay. Well, the quad next is going to make me just go. Away. If there was no quad, I would have just taken. Now I can't. I don't have the wherewithal to be able to take on a dog. Really? That soon? That was quick. I could have swore I just recharged. Ooh, broken machinery. Again, I could use a trader. Two, one, zero. Yep. At least I got a little pugnium out of him. Am I right? Yeah, just a little bit, but still. Let's check out the broken machinery, see if we can finally get our upgrade. Spotted badger. Great, I just told everybody my life support's low. That's fantastic. I'm so glad. More nanites. Any other broken machinery laying around? Or buildings. Minor settlement six hours away. Again, going for a multi-tool. Really, really handy. Hey, there's broken machinery right there. plant this time and avoided him for once okay what do we got more starship launch fuel not the most useful thing to me right now looks like we got a bunch of damaged machinery in front of me but... okay so one two at least two, so that's at least something. Looks like we got an oxygen patch to our right. Some undamaged machinery. Three ships, no one landing. More nanites. Unburied. Not undamaged. Unburied technology is what I Another piece of unburied over there, so maybe I can grab that too. I'm in the hopes that I will find a trade terminal or something at some point. I can get rid of all the buried technology. Salvage data, if you will. Did I grab the... damaged machinery, but it didn't give me any upgrades, right? Nope. Alright, just more salvage data. 
Oh, another broken machinery. I saw the oxygen patch back there, so I do want to head in that direction, but broken machinery is a little more... Oh, that's great. Broken machinery is a little more important, right? As well as busting my ankles, apparently. Slapping my face into a wall. But hey, you know, that's what this is. What do you got for me? <clears throat> more nanites, I believe. And it's more nanites. Big surprise. Alright. Let's head back the way we... Oh, no. No, you don't. Nice try. Back the way we came. This way, I believe. <clears throat> I'm going to get to that oxygen patch, because that'll be very, very handy. <clears throat> if I can find it again. There's the beacon, and I know it was to the right. It's down this slope or down the far slope? There it is. Oxygen patch. Any damaged machinery in the distance? How about some buildings? No buildings? Building. Unknown building straight in front of me. Excellent. Okay. Let's hope that it is actual building this time. Not the biggest patch in the world of oxygen, but boy, this is very handy. Even if it just gives me a couple hundred of tan. Nice. I think that's it. 400 out of that. Looks like we got some damaged machinery up there too, as well as a quote-unquote building. So we will see what the building has. Looks like we have good timing. Looks like two pieces of damaged machinery. Even if it's just a shelter, it would be very, very handy right about now. Just want to make sure nobody landed near me. No? Good. Uh, where'd we go? There we go. Take you. Gotta check my inventory because it may be getting full. I've got one spot. No, three spots left. We're good. We're good. Nanite? So somebody's already pilfered these. That means we're getting close to civilization. So we gotta be careful. Okay. Where'd that building go? Probably just could be another beacon or something. So. Yeah, a shelter would be very, very handy right about now. Ooh. Not what I'm gonna be attacking. So I could use an upgrade or two. I'm probably going to hold off on this this time. Yeah, I'll just short. Okay. Microprocessors, that's nice. Hey, how about a trader? Trader? Trade? Okay, trade, trade. No one's far left. He's going to come into her left. Alright. Up to the top of the hill. At least this hill here. Well, let's take a look. I would really rather find some place that I can shelter. I'm going to continue up a little higher. There's the beacon I came from. Okay.
a check because I may be getting close to some bases. And I am. So we need to probably start heading in a different direction. Could head back the way we came. My ship is that way. Or we could head that way. Where is that? Yeah, which is towards the minor settlement. So let's head that direction. That should keep us a little safer. More ships. Only one. I don't see anybody landing near me. 3,000 nanites. Nobody will land. Probably got a lot more than that now. How many do I have? 4,000, of course. Okay. We're going to head straight to the miner settlement. I think we're going to head that direction. There's a communication station 14 minutes away. But I don't see a base there, so that usually marks a pretty important area. Let's see what that has to do with it. And hopefully we can get there in this episode, though we're over two hours already. Really only expected to spend an hour today, but I'm not finding a good place to stop. And whenever you go into a new region like this, there's usually buildings. Even with it in the supercharged area, I'm not seeing a building. That I, I spoke too soon. There you go. How far away are you guys? 13? 12? Okay, good. Alright, we're safe. Let's head towards it. Rusty nails, huh? These people have some of the most interesting names. At least mine's based on my name. Of course I hit a rock on the way. The thing I'm not seeing is I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, damaged machinery along the way here. Far away of these. 31. 11 hours. Okay, good. Ah, a building. A piece of damaged machinery down there. Let's go for the damaged machinery first, and we'll come back up to the building. This will be a good hold-off point. And looks like it's an observatory, which means it'll tell me of a wonderful, wonderful thing I can get on another planet. <clears throat> which won't help me out at all. Nanites. Okay. Anything around here real quick before I take off? Submerged relic. Yeah, those are kind of useless. Let me just take to the edge here take a look. I just want to make sure there's no more damaged machinery down there. I don't see any. Alright, let's head up. Now, if there's a nice shelter near this building, it may have some damaged machinery as well. Buildings also sometimes attract traders and PCs. So there's the opening. This is a save point as well. Ah, good. But no damaged machinery. That's okay. Not very hospitable in this one. How about this one? I will take the nanites. Very good. Okay. Let's head to the building over here. Let's see what it's got going on. Of 
Corvax inside, we will chat with. Let's get some sodium over here. No, I don't want to sit down. Yep, take a load off. I've been walking for a while. Uh, three, building in intensity. Okay, the only thing I can do is give him some ferrite. Okay, well, he gave me something. Bought me a word, that's about it. Very upset otherwise. Yeah, this is a... Let me just check here real quick. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's just... I'm not even going to bother. You know, we can do it and we can get a, a few of the area. Let's do that. Uh, three, so, 8273. Yeah, 2. I don't really care because I can't go to another planet, but I get a bird's eye view of the area. I don't see a whole heck of a lot. Well, uh, okay. So, yeah, something on another planet. If I can walk there, I can get it. I know how I might be able to get there, but that's not going to work in this instance. I'm not going to move off like that. Okay. So this looks like as good a stopping point as any to call it a day. All right. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and stop here, and we'll call this our starting point for, for next time. Um, how far away? He's 56 minutes away. Yep. Okay, good. So we want to figure out next time what that is. It's only 10 minutes away. I wonder if we can just do it anyway. I really am curious as to what it is. Let's go check it out. Sorry, curiosity's got the best of me. If, if I have to, I'll just find a cave. Stop the day. 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes, Mom. We will get there in a little less than 10 minutes because of the fact that we are going to be using a jetpack. It's up the time a little better. Oops, is that a... Nope, that's the minor settlement. Okay. Is there... There is not. But one of these might be a plant. An attacking plant. Anybody land? No, of course not. The NPC traders just simply do not like me. I wonder if your if your reputation goes up the land more often. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? So sometimes going in, into those shelters that give you something that improves your reputation, I wonder if that would help. Okay, it's up on top of that. That's strange. Take a look around real quick, make sure I'm not missing something. No. Okay. Some supplies in front of me, we'll go ahead and grab. Here. You need more charge. There we go. Another Viking effigy. Okay. Anything in front of me? Don't see anything just yet. Okay. So it's. Is it up there? Where was it? It's over here. So we can dig to it. It's not in an, you know, floating area. At least that's something. No, maybe not. Maybe it is further out. Okay. Damage machinery. I missed. We don't want to miss the damage machine. 
because you could get that one upgrade you've been looking for. Or more launch, Starship launch fuel. I forgot to look the other way. Okay. No, nothing but stuff on the shoreline. Okay, keep going. Get some, some speed built up. We will fill that in just a moment. Looks like we got some damage machinery right over here. I like using the waterways as a way of getting some places a little bit quicker. Because as long as you don't really go under the water, you're not using as much oxygen. I don't think. More nanites. Yay. Okay, so that one's really far away. That one should be right up the slope there. people popping in and out of the system today. But again, I'm not finding any traders popping in. I still think it has something to do with... Is that? Yeah, it is. I still think it has something to do with uh, your reputation. I gauge pirates again, apparently. Are you kidding me? They're attacking me from the air. Engaged pirates again. I honestly wasn't even trying. They were literally still trying to attack me. What I may have to do is I may actually have to log out in order to get rid of these guys. Seems to me it's very unfair to... ...attack somebody who's not even in a ship. Don't see anything. Maybe they finally gave up? Okay, that's getting... There we go. And trust me, I've taken on ships with a bolt caster before. It didn't work out really well. Okay, anybody? Nope. Yep. So, if that happened to you, that's how you escape them. Okay, so what is here? Oh, drop pot. Okay. Those have been pilfered. Drop pot should be available. Alright, let's fill in the other hole down here. That makes me happy. So it says free upgrade. And like I said, I think it has to do with... The fact that we started in creative mode. 
So what I'm going to suggest if we do this again is that we go to survival mode to start with. That limits your um, limits your resources you can pick up, your inventory space. Got some more nanites. Okay. So we were heading in this direction. So let's see here. I'm going to decide where we're going to stop this time. I haven't decided yet. The fact that we have a lot of people entering the system tells me that a lot of these people watch one of the three. Yeah, I'd like to learn a 16th word if you don't mind. Thank you. That is the minor settlement that's six hours away that we don't care about. It's using as a means of travel. Knowing that we can go that direction. Let's go get this damaged machinery. Ugh, good grief. I can stop hitting things on the ground. Get upgrade, upgrade. No more nanites. Got some more damaged machinery right over there. We'll head in that direction for now. Don't see any buildings. Like I said a minor settlement, even a little trade ball on one of those little sites. Come on now. Thermal protection. Well, we can't use cold protection here, but I can get myself a wiring and some dioxide for life support. Fantastic. So I can now get that. Excellent. Any upgrades we can put in here for our bolt caster? We do have the ricochet module. And the ionizer. Four glass and one wiring loop. I can make the glass. I'll put that in later. If I can get one more upgrade. Where would we going? That one. Right. Yes. But we're looking for damage machinery first. So that was a nice, nice find. That gave us an upgrade that we could use. Um, utilize, let's just say. What is this? Salt? Use the dioxide this time. That's a plant. That is going to eat me. Okay. So we got a building over there, but we know kind of what building it is. There's great upgrades in there. Stuff like that, but I am not ready for that yet. Oh, Jack, you're 18 hours away. Okay, straight. Oh, can't see. Like six feet up in the air. Corvax casing again. Yay. We're running out of room. Deck relic. Of course there is. 
Where is the... Well, it's a lot of it. Well, let's... There we go. Wow, we got a lot of salvage data. I didn't realize it. A lot of it. I'm going to get rid of you. Ships flying around. Heading in this direction, unless we see something we can use. So again, that's fine, but I already know what's there, so I'm... Damaged machinery there, 100 feet in front of me. Okay, let's go. Oops, blow. Always grab it when you can. Unburied technology floating in the air. More nanites. Need three to fill out that uh, grouping. Good. So that should be it, right? 30, 30, 30. Good. Man, that's a lot of stuff. Why, why they keep attacking me when I think about it? Oh, that's right. I've got A class. I got the advanced mining laser. There we go. Alright, where to? Want to head in that direction. So let's head down the hill. Another Gek Relic that we just got rid of, huh? Keep that going for a while. That's a cargo drop in front of me. Right here. Nothing found. Let's see, heat upgrade is a really next thing I need. Bolt caster upgrades would be very nice. Getting a bird's eye view. And breaking my ankle in the meantime. There we go. So we're headed north now. Looks like we got a building right in front of me, so that's good. Head slightly in this direction, because I want to make sure there isn't any technology that's on. Oh, ah, crud. I saw it the last second. I'm already damaged to begin with, so. I don't see any broken machinery. Hmm, there was a canister right there. I thought I was seeing things. But I wasn't. It was an actual thing. Microprocessor, yay. Okay, on, on our way. And we're going to start losing heat here in just a minute. There it goes. Hill. Another drop pod. Navigation data. You never know when you might be able to use it. Not really worth a lot. So, get the right angle, you can stabilize. Alright, let's see. So, we're going to put it right there like it tells us to. Okay, so minor settlement is over that way. What else we got around this? Hate to use this as our stopping point because it kind of sucks, but I think we ought to go out into the weather. Looks like damage machinery right there. We can use our sodium. Damage 
protection has fallen, right? Protection void. Protection yeah, now would be a time when someone would, like, drop in on me and say, Hey, let's trade. support technology recharge technology recharge take a look around speed is great for your jetpack so you can go much further distances with your jetpack Keep it recharged this time on a regular basis using sodium. Go that way. Machinery in the distance. Get to the ground first before I can recharge. There we go. That's the only thing I have left is just heat shield. Radiation protection. Close. I mean, it can get hot, I guess. Alright, that should stop it immediately. Let's use. Where did it go? It's over here. Put you two next to each other. I'm going to install this just so I can have it out of the way. But I'll be able to uninstall it. Use the... Oh, wait a minute. How many do we need? With oh, the multi-tool upgrade. Hold on. That would be this one. I only need one. I need four living glass. Not four glass, pardon me. Alright, let's do that. So this is done. Mostly. We almost ran out of that. That's why I need glass. So we need silicate powder. Uninstall you. Is that uranium? It sure is. So we'll get that put in. Alright. Yep, working on it. Processor. You know, for that hyperdrive, I'm never going to install. Always want to look around. Because you never know. It's done. Four glass. Multi tool. And we're upgraded. Okay, so a little more, more powerful now. Extra shot per, per burst, so that's good. Extra damage is what that means. Okay. So there is the building we're using as our beacon. These guys are very far away. I'm not really worried about them at all. Just want to make sure we don't have any damaged machinery anywhere. Mostly dry lake bed, so it doesn't really help as much. Ah, damage machinery in front of us. Good. Okay. Just wanted a little bit. Thank you. Bye. Ooh, there's more up there. 
Heat shield is what I'm really needing. At that time, I deleted it. I didn't mean to. Okay, let me think about that. Because I was supposed to put this stuff back. And we can get ourselves a life support gel. Good. Deal. Okay, I got the most of it. Alright, where are we going? That way? Let's take a look over there. All those deposits and no broken machine. Just a few, but every little bit helps, especially in this weather, until I can get a nice heat shield. Okay. All right, any buildings? Seen. Use you for now. So we get rid of one extra slot in our inventory. Use the life support gel when it gets low. Alright, and we are getting to a point of I've had enough. Unknown building right there. Let's head towards it and see what we end up with. I don't see any damaged machinery. Goodbye. Straight away. Still nobody wants to trade. Machinery in between. I can't really quite tell what it is. I think it might be an ancient uh, building thing. More radiation protection. Isn't that interesting? We'll put you up there, but he wonders why it's not giving me heat protection. Check out the building. They won't give me anything, but it'll give me directions to a... I'll take that one. I got myself turned around. Directions to an ancient relic. And I'm not going to bother reading it because it's just telling me information. Uh, knowledge passed. And we can get a good look around and see if there's any buildings. And I don't see anything, unfortunately. Again, and that is where? Far away. 21 minutes away? Ancient ruin? Okay. But, ah, crud. It's back the way we came. No traders? No? Any other buildings nearby besides this one? Back in here. 
charge you up. Okay. A lot of ferrite we have on us now. I think we can dispense of getting more ferrite at this point. Alright, so the direction I was headed is that direction. My ancient artifact is directly behind me. But it could be a very valuable artifact, and that is part of the mission that we have. Is to get ancient artifacts. So I am obligated to head back. Okay. So I'm going to go to one side a little bit more and take a different, slightly different route. That way <clears throat> I can pick up other stuff on the way. No, 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 you can tell I'm not really happy about <clears throat> backtracking. Because this place was obviously really close to where I was, and it doesn't make any sense that I couldn't see it. Sodium patch. I'm going to ignore it this time, because we're going to head straight there. Mickey head. Again, very odd names. I mean, does he look like Mickey Mouse? Very confused. Checking to my right more often than my left because I expect more stuff to show up in that direction. I think what I'll do, <clears throat> unless there happens to be a building nearby, we'll end our episode there. Skipping across the landscape. Crater? No craters. Boy, I've got some stuff I can sell to you guys. was expecting. Well, the walking I'm doing on this planet, I would have expected to get a slightly different. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. How far away are we now? Thirteen. Keep hoping that we run into some more damaged machinery on the way and we can get our heat upgrade. That would really be nice. Keep going. Ooh, and those crystals, the floating crystals, if we run across those, we can take them now. I don't see anything. I feel like I've been through this area before as well.
I'll get sodium nitrate. And that's salt, I think, right? Ooh, I'll take that. Good. Got a good jump thrust out of this one. Get a little closer to the ground. There. Before we get really close to the ground. At a much faster rate. Okay, 2,500 blocks away. 2,500 units away, I keep saying that. Still no damaged machinery nearby. I haven't seen. Different region. It's the unknown building that we discovered earlier. We won't be heading there. How far? It won't tell me. Okay. Because I got damaged at the same time. Why? I'm going to stop taking the rusted metal. I keep forgetting about that. We will finish it off, though. Yep, you want to actually hit the run button. There we go. Oh, hello. Charged up. Oh, what's what's this? What's this? Landing station. Awesome. Well, this wasn't so fruitless after all. Let's sell some of this crap we have on us. Thank heavens. All right. Looks like a couple pieces of damaged machinery. Four of them down here. Wow, okay, definitely this worked out nicely then. Okay, more nanites. Now we don't have to worry about uh, filling up our inventory. Come on, one of these got to give me a nice heat upgrade. Kind of wonderful at the end of our episode, wouldn't it? Nope. Nanites. Okay. Any other damaged machinery nearby that I missed? Okay, let's head for the trading. A large trading platform. And trade. Casing. Found a local trade set. Fantastic. All right, ninety-five salvage data for almost five million. Uh, the Gek Nip. I think we'll hang on to. I just have a feeling. Corvax casing gone. Uh, what else we got? Viking effigy. The Herox. Probably could have saved it, but that's okay. The Gek Relics. Living Pearls we'll hang on to in the Sack Venom. I'm going to hang on to the Viking Dagger. A dagger, I don't know why. Hadal Cores they're not asking for. We can get those readily, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Don't really need Uranium, that's for sure, but I'll hang on to it in case I need to build something with it. Hey, okay, buying. What do we got? Quantum Computer. You know we're going to need those at some point, so I'm going to get a few of them. There we go. Got 
plenty of money, so we'll go ahead and grab it. Uh, solar mirrors. Let's grab a few of those. Uh, plates I'm not worried about. Microprocessors we've got enough of. Phosphorus will come in handy for our heat shield, but it's not enough to really make a difference, but I'll grab it anyway. We've got paraffinium all over the planet. Okay. And we can check with a tra ship trader as well, if we wish, but... Let me just check with one of them, because I don't usually carry anything that we can use. Yep, Magnate. Oh, it's nice to have the inventory a little bit opened up. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, stop talking and give me your platinum. Not very handy. The tritium could come in handy. I'm going to grab that for now because there are certain things you build that need it, and I don't know if that's one. If, if, if anything that we're going to be using is going to be one of them. Oh boy, these guys are talkers today. Star mode, nope. Don't need any of that. Last one. And I'm not gonna I'm gonna get going here with this. Cross crystals. I mean they're handy for glass. They don't cost a whole lot. I'll go ahead and grab them. Okay. Let's reorganize our inventory. Now we opened up a bunch of slots, so it's gonna come in handy, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Alright, this was very, very handy. I'm tempted on putting a save beacon here. Or communication bu bubble. Put a communication ball here. Pure ferrite is what we need. Guess I should have hung on to that pure ferrite, huh? I'll put one down. Let's see. First, we've got to change the color. Must place on terrain. That's fine. We'll place it on terrain. Alright, and this is basically a trading post. Okay. Done. So let's head over to our ancient ruin, and we'll finish this up there. Looks like you do have some broken machinery in the distance. And broken ankles, of course. A couple of them. Let's hit the one on the left, and then we'll hit the one on the right. Plenty of money now, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. How nice it is. Going on the right. See, this is why I want you guys to give me upgrades. my treasure. Now the ancient ruin, if we can get there quickly, it's also a protected area from weather, so also another good reason to go there. We will not be putting a marker down.
Rushed out of that. Let's go. There we go. Get pack, huh? We don't have far to go. Yeah, we're gonna have to use some more. Close, right? Okay, we're almost there. Ugh, we could stop running into rocks because I can't see them in this gloom. And there we go. Back to normal. Treasure. And that's all we got out of it. Well, we did manage to get a lot done. So first thing I'm going to do over here is I'm going to fill it back in, first of all. And I'm going to find my way into here. So I'm protected. Back to the bolt caster. Make sure I'm all set. Let's get our life support boosted. Okay. And we are ready. Okay, and that should do it. There we go. So that's going to be it, folks. Even though we're in the middle of a storm, we're in a protected area, we are going to start... We're going to seriously continue to go in the same direction we've been going. We're going to go towards the minor settlement that we found. It's to the north. Where to go? It's not that way. It's over this way. There it is. That direction. So that's the direction we're going to start heading towards again. We're going to be traveling over some terrain that, you know, uh, we've already been over. But, you know, this should really work out nicely. I'm going to take a quick peek around just to make sure I didn't miss something real fast here. Nope, it looks like we got some gravitational balls, but those are not being asked for. And frankly, it was just going to stir things up. Okay, so that's the direction we're going in, and we will head that direction when we get back. So I want to thank you all for watching. Nothing really happened here. We didn't get attacked by anybody. We're so far out from everybody, I don't think anybody really has a... Uh, opportunity to do anything you ever notice how he how he as he's moving he's getting blurry it's really kind of weird huh what if he's really there interesting anyway that should do it folks so i want to thank you again for watching please hit the like hit the subscribe if you like what you've been seeing and we'll see you again soon take care everybody and just so you can see it we're about five hours in all right guys take care